It's not. You hear me, sis? So what's what I'm gonna tell you, so if you look on this side right here, right? Look on this side, this right here, on this side right here, this is what the most high God calls us. But on the left hand side is what is the proverbs and bowers that we've been given by our slave master. So now I ask, if you look on the left, I mean you look on this side, wh which one do you fit? Which one are you called? Which one is on your job application? American. American what? Black. Yeah, okay, so you come from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe Christ comes from. Right. That's the same tribe Christ comes from, sis, Sister Monica. Now I want to read something to you. I need your attention. You can get your, get your, um, get your pictures because you need to share this to your, with your family. What you got, dude? Uh, you tell uh, what I was saying. Yes, sir. This is yes, sir. Because whom did the Most High deliver? Have you ever heard the story or the historical fact about uh, the nation being brought out of Egypt? Moses, right? Have you ever heard that? Who was in captivity under the Egyptians at that time? What nation of people? I don't remember. The that. Israelites. Okay. So what I'm showing you, you are a so-called black woman from the tribe of Judah, from the nation of Israel. Right. This book is written to you and your daughter, you and your family. This book is specifically for you. I'm about to prove that. Because Moses, by the way of Moses, through the power of the Most High God, he delivered the Israelites out of captivity under the hands of the Egyptians. Right. Now watch this. Now they went into the, the wilderness for 40 years. And during this 40 years, Moses was given laws to give to your brothers and sisters. So read this, check this out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To all who? Unto all Israel. Now, now give me Deuteronomy 28 and we're gonna start at verse, let's read verse one first. I want y'all to, I'm uh, building up to something. I want you to stick around, read. This is the same book. And whom did Moses say he spake to? Us. There you go. That's right. So keep that in mind. This is the same book. Just a, just a chapter. Oh, this is the 28th chapter of the same book. Deuteronomy 28. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently. Listen very carefully. Read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Your God. Very, to, very possessive. He said your God. To observe uh -huh. and to do what else? all his commandments uh -huh. which I commanded thee this day. Uh -huh. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high uh -huh. above all nations on the earth. Right. So in that passage, right? The Most High God said, it shall come to pass, right? All these things I'm going to give to you. If you listen and observe and do what? I know it's a lot. Yeah. We're going to read it again. <laughs> yeah, one more time. Because it's a stipulation to that. <laughs> okay. Because most like God promised us these things, but he said, hey. It's Don't like, we obey? Obey what? His commandments? You, oh, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's it. That's the only way we're going to be blessed. But if I'm saying we're talking about we're Israel, right? And the most high God just said that we're blessed. But his children right now, are we blessed? Are we, as a nation, are we blessed? No. No. Then what happens, sis? What happens? Not what did we not do? We shouldn't be doing this. Listen to his commandments. Obey. Bingo. Right. Spot on. Spot on, right? This is the medicine that our people need, right? This right here will move mountains. This right here will change our status or our what's the word I'm looking for? Our ranking in society. Yeah, our our we're the lowest state right now. Keep the God's commandments. He said he's gonna do what? Read the end of it again. Read the end of it one more time. What did it say? To observe and do. Stop there. To observe and do. Read. All his commandments, uh -huh. which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Will what? Set thee on high uh -huh. above all nations. Oh, hold on. So it's something else in there. He said, could, now we're talking about, it's 18 nations in the Bible. The Most High God is only concerned with one. What? Right? In that passage, he just said, you know what? My child, you do, you, you please me, you do what I tell you. That's what all children should seek to, 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 uh, to please their parents anyway, right? He said, if you do that for me, I'm going to set you above, high above all the others that's here. That's right. All of them. Go to, uh, go to 16. Go to, no, no, go 15, 15, 15. Watch this. Now, this is where we at because we didn't listen. Obviously, because we still dying with knees on our neck. Right? right? How is that still happening if we're the child of the children of God? Right. Why has that been allowed to us? Because we have disappointed and disobeyed our father. 
All this is right here is a big butt whooping with a big switch from the Lord himself. Disciplining his kids. Love me. I do this. Have you, I know your parents. Have you ever said, I, um, I don't want to beat you, but I'll beat you because I love you. Because I'm beating you to what? To keep you from dying. Because to keep you from out this fool stuff. Hanging with Tommy. He's a drug dealer. Right? Because if you continue to hang with him, that's what you're going to become. And let the parent understand that the only outcome of that is just dead or jail. So you're going to be warning your children. So now the Most High God is to his prophets, prophets, what you are looking at right now, to warn his children for what's to come. That's what we out here for. That's what we out here for. Because we know what's in store. But our people don't. Read. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 15. Now this is the this is uh the opposite. Read. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God Read. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, uh -huh. which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? Curses uh -huh. shall come upon Read. thee and overtake thee. Is that not happening? Are we not overtaking the curses today? So who are we reading about? It's only one nation of people that, that's this, that this is happening to, to this very day. Right. And nobody can't tell me different. Nobody can't tell us different. We see it. We live it. We yeah. breathe it every day. So you can't come and tell me this is Christ. Because right. ain't no white man saved me in a damn amount of my life. You understand me? Oh, yeah. Wait, what we got? Go to, uh, give me 32. Check this out. Now we're going to go back in history, right? Read 32. I want y'all, while he's reading 32, I want you to look at this picture right here. I want you to look at this poster right here. Look at this poster right here. Look at it good too. Read. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them uh -huh. all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So what, what did we just read? What did we just read? What part of history did we just read? Because right now we're reading the curses. What do y'all see on this sign right here? How the white man was selling us and beating us and things like that. Uh-huh. And what else were they doing? What was, what was, what was that, uh, the name of that uh, oppression? What was the name of that, uh, that time? So what it is. Slave. Slavery. Were not our kids given to did we get to enjoy our kids in slavery? No. Were they, they not given to another people? Yes. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. Did you did our mothers not cry when their children were snatched out their arms? Yes. That's the longing. We cry for our children. But what happened? Were we able to get them back? Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. We had no might to get our children back at that point. You understand what I'm saying? We was oppressed. We was in cattle slavery, chains around bells around our neck and our ankles. We didn't have the power to get our kids back, even though they belonged to us. You understand what I'm saying? Only happened to one nation of people. Read. Go to, uh, uh, yeah, read 41. Watch. Verse 41. Ah. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, uh -huh. but thou shalt not enjoy them, mm -hmm. for they shall go into captivity. Going to what? Captivity. Right. What, 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 what we doing? We giving a sense, right? We giving a sense. Because how long has this Bible been here? Did you grow up with, with grandmother, big mama, all them? Bible's everywhere, right? right. In, in the corner dashboard. Right. In the, in the back seat. Right. right. It's been in the whole time. The whole time. Have you ever read that? No. The Most High guys re is removing that veil from your eyes this moment. Right. Prophecy is happening right now. You got new eyes now. You see things that you ain't seen before. Can I tell you something? Because Go. Yes, ma'am. Like what I you got? Was telling the other gentleman is like, right now I'm going through some things, trying to get myself together, mm -hmm. my kids, you know, help my mom because I'm her nurse and uh -huh. and you lie. My child father had passed away from heart failure, mm -hmm. and then like I, I became pregnant, and right. I was like asking for understanding, uh -huh. and I still don't understand. You don't understand. I'm gonna tell you. So she was telling me I had just left, mm -hmm. go back to the store and get some grease. Uh -huh. My daughter was like, "Well, we just left the store." Uh -huh. I said, "Well, we going back up there." Uh -huh. 
And this was the reason why my mom told me to come back. But I still need some type of understanding. Okay. So right now, I'm a, huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, understanding. Uh, we all know that death and life comes from the Father, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with. This. What? Uh, do you do you have a question? Do you, do you have a question? All right, so, so we all understand that that uh, go to is it is it Deuteronomy 32? What I'm looking for? 32 and nine, nine, eight. You still with me, Sister Monica? Check this out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, 32, verse 39. Uh -huh. See now that I, even I, am He, uh -huh. and there is no God with me. There's no God with the Most High God. Can't nobody trump. What he says or what he or what he determines to happen, right? We even us. I don't care. We can pray, pray, pray. All the the, the Father will give mercy, place mercy upon whom. How would it go? I can't. Whom he willeth, right? So that choice is up to the the mercy. Say like uh, we can pray for mercy and grace, right? We can pray for all these things, but it's up to the Father to grant that. Okay. So he would choose whom gets this, who lives or who dies. Who's sick or who's not sick? Like in this pandemic, he the, he's the determining factor who get COVID and who don't go get COVID. Who dies with COVID, who doesn't die from COVID. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. He determines all that. And we have to understand him being the creator, that any of our children not even ours. He lend them to us. Yeah, that, 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 there's your responsibility to raise that child, but I can take him anytime I want to because he's mine. Right. Like it, even our spouses. You understand what I'm saying? The father, at that point in time, the father, like, you know what? I need my son to come back. Boom, boom. I don't know if it was to prevent him from further evil or to protect him from something. Got to got him up out of here. You understand what I'm saying? Or could have been judged from past sins, too. We have to understand that, too. Right? Read it again. See now that I, even I am he, uh -huh. and there is no God with me. Uh -huh. I kill. He what? I kill. See, this is the thing we don't under, that we forget about the father. You remember uh, the story, or not sorry, the historical fact about Noah's Ark? Yeah. Y'all remember how many people survived that? Not too many. Eight. The most I killed everybody. So when it comes to the things that we live here, we forget. They call the most I God, what, the terror of terrors? Mm -hmm. The terrors, the hey, eight, you know? The most I got, that's why I said, your daughter said, no, I don't want no smoke. Yo, you don't want no smoke with the father. Eight people survived out of the whole world, right? Lived from that flood. But check this out. When Christ comes back, it's going to be even more. What? Read. I kill. He kills. And I make a lie. He determines who lives or dies. Ultimately. Don't matter what we do. Right? Right. But keep going. Keep going. I'm going to I wound and I heal. He what? I wound and I heal. Read. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So once you in the Most High God's hands, nobody can take you out. Because those same hands will protect you. Right? If you do what he tells you to do. You would do anything for your daughter, right? That's your daughter, right? Yeah. You would do anything for her, right? Yeah. But when she becomes of age, and you train her up in the way that she should go, right? And she disobeys you and you like that it's something i can do you can throw your hands up right you throw your hands up don't bring that back in the house i have already taught you what you should do because it's going to become a point in time when you become hands off it's either they're going to want they're going to call it they're going to find themselves in some stuff and they're going to become a right back to who Me. right you understand what i'm saying get, uh, go back to uh what was you about to do what you about to get yeah get that real quick yep this right here sis your uh it was it your husband? He was my fiance. We was, was gonna get married. Man, right, yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a, this is what the Most High God does to us too. All right. This is his his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. The way we think uh, to handle a situation is total. Right. It's like it's far more vast than what we think. So when it happens, it's like why, Lord, why? But you don't know what he got on the back end. You understand what I'm saying? It's what you got. The book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. You know, whether you know it or not right now, since you've been afflicted. You've been afflicted for a reason. The Most High God is afflicting your soul. He's what do that mean? 
that word. Okay. Trials and tribulations. Oh, what would you do? Give me first with this 10 and all. Uh, Read that first. I got you, sis. Okay. I will go and return to my place. You want to know what a trial is or a tribulation is? You, if you don't pay your bill on time, they're going to shut your water off, your electricity. Water is a free resource. But if you don't pay a bill, you're cut off. That's affliction. That's tribulation. Right? What is? What is? Give me something else. What else is affliction? Uh, our people been gunned down for no reason. Right? First, what? Last hire, first fire. Equally caught. Huh? Drugs dropped off in our neighborhoods. What? Hey, when George, when they was over there riding in with George Floyd, George Floyd, I think, these jokers was putting bricks on corners, just leaving them there because they knew that somebody, uh, our people, gonna pick these bricks up and destroy stores. That's a trial and tribulation. Us being called a black is a trial. It's a tribulation. It's affliction. Us not knowing our heritage. Us not knowing what color Christ is. Having to work. Period. It's affliction. Right. All these things are affliction. You having to go serve your oppressor, even though you know his people don't like you, but you got to put on this smile to go serve him so you can feed your daughter. It's oppression. Right. Say what? Asking for time off. Being told what you can and what you can't do, what you can wear, what you can't wear. Right. You can't wear your natural hair. It's a problem with society. That's affliction. But everybody else is not suffering these things. When I say everybody else, I'm talking about everybody else outside the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Everybody else can That's keep rocks. Because the most high God is not here for them. But the most high God is using them to punish us for not listening to him. Make sense? Watch this. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. What well, the offense is not keeping God's laws. Because remember in Deuteronomy 28, it said, if you hearken diligently and serve to do what? Right. Then he will set you above all nations. Right. So now since we didn't do that, now the most I got is saying this. Like I said, when your daughter gets to a certain age, you, you're going you're gonna to you put your hands up. Like, nope. There's nothing else I can do. They got to learn on their own. It's the same thing the father doing, read. Till they acknowledge their offense uh -huh. and seek my face. And do what? And seek my face. Uh -huh. In their affliction, they will seek me early. So when, when's the most time you call on the Father? Is it when you're happy or when you're sad and going through something? Thank you, Father. I try to pray to him all the time, right? but we mostly call on him in a time of need. That's right. That's right. But the Father wants us to realize that we need him all the time. Right. We need him all because we can't be comfortable out here. I don't know what, which bullet's going to I don't know what bullet or what uh, my own people going to take me out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm gonna make it back to see my kids today. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's what we that's a reality that we, the nation of Israel, have to live through, not these other nations. All because we did not listen and observe to keep God's commandments. That's it. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth